Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan, and thanks for joining us for our Tuesday update for June the 13th. Well, high pressure from the Tasman Sea is moving in, bringing light winds, a lot of sunny and dry weather to New Zealand, but also the risk of frost and fog over the next couple of nights and mornings. Over in Australia, there's also this low pressure zone that is moving into the Tasman Sea at the end of this week, and then across the weekend, it brings in some rain to the top of New Zealand and a few showers elsewhere, but also warmer winds. So the frost will likely disappear as we head in towards the weekend. So let's try and make sense of the forecast. Here we are for lunchtime Wednesday. High pressure over New Zealand, mostly settled, mostly dry. Morning fog, morning frosts inland. And over here on the eastern side, a few more showers carrying on, mostly northern Hawke's Bay and Gisborne, Mahia Peninsula. Over in Australia, that windy change moves through Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne's probably the wettest of the main centres over the next few days. Not a huge amount, 10 to 20 millimetres coming through there with those windy westerlies and southwesterlies going through, but drier the further east you are, including Canberra, Sydney and Brisbane. So on Thursday, uh, the high pressure zone in New Zealand starts to drift away, but it doesn't drift away enough to get rid of the fog. So with a very light northerly, which you'll barely be able to feel, fog patches across the North Island are more likely on Thursday morning uh, as you inject a little bit more humidity into the atmosphere. So foggy patches around on Thursday, then it breaks up and clears away. The South Island's got more of a northwest flow. And over here, again, the westerly wind is dominating from about ACT southwards. And it doesn't change a great deal on Friday, except we've got this big storm down in the Southern Ocean. That's going to produce windy nor'westers from Adelaide to Melbourne to Hobart, but it doesn't reach New Zealand because of that low pressure zone. So the low is bringing in northerly winds coming down the country, nothing too major in there. A little bit of rain stuck around Coromandel Peninsula, and there are a few showers that could become heavy on Friday afternoon, and they could drift into Waikato and Auckland and Bay of Plenty. Otherwise, it is a fairly dry day, but that low is nearby, even if it is mostly dry. And by Saturday, that weak low moves in, bit of a subtropical airflow coming through, so you'll see that rain or shower activity, especially around Bay of Plenty, East Cape, and the eastern side of Coromandel Peninsula. Cloudy with showers further down, all the way down to about Canterbury. And in Australia, high pressure dominates the eastern side, but these windy nor'westers pick up to gale force in exposed areas. But by Sunday, those windy conditions, they don't ease necessarily, but the strongest of the winds drop back a little bit. And there's a cold change coming in for you, Australia. But on the New Zealand side, it's the opposite. Subtropical air flows, mild, um, slightly more humid, and that wet weather in the northeastern areas. I understand if you live in Gisborne and Hawke's Bay, you don't want to see a forecast like this. At this stage, though, the, the rainfall totals aren't very alarming. So it's worth keeping an eye on. It might still change. Those totals might go up. But likewise, they might also drop down a little bit because there's still a bit of high pressure out here trying to sort of move through, and it's fairly nearby. But worth keeping an eye on if you do live over there uh, in the eastern side of the North Island. And that is all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.